get into this little dirk old days. You know, he talk about. Cherry Production. You know, I've been talking to my family on group FaceTime. Now, so they don't add me for now. Just, they just tell me that they miss me, you know what I'm saying? I be, I be telling them about money, but I'm going to send it anyway, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all. All the times I said granny, that's the passion that it's from Her condition scared me so much, I ain't visit her in months She ain't don't visit me more than them, he only visit me just once All the rest got out before Uncle and Hold on, what he just said? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on I gotta, bring it, me, you know, I gotta bring it back, I gotta bring it back I be telling him about money, but I'm a... I ain't going front, Dirk really be talking, bro Like, he really be talking People just be focused on, like, the melodies And people be focused on... Like the way he delivers his shit and the beats and shit, but this nigga really be talking. I'm sending anyway, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all. All the times I said granny, that's the passion that it's from. Her condition scared me so much, I ain't visit her in months. She ain't don't visit me more than them, and he only visit me just once. So all the rest got out before Uncle and they around him. That's crazy. He said, what, what name he said? Chino? Visit me more than them, and he only visit me once. That's crazy, right? So that means them niggas ain't never showed up at all type shit. I be for Uncle and they around here like it's none. How many niggas I used to fuck with told me fuck me over money. Said mm. the block gon' get on his ass, that's why he ain't never make a comment. The autopsy of Von Body had me coughing on my vomit. I miss the old days, the old ways, my history iconic. I was taking so many pills, I was so high, I really abused it. Started selling perks, I turned around and started to use it. Took my name off. Hold up, so he did he did pop perks and shit there. He said he, he used to sell the shit. Oh. It's my history iconic. I was taking so many pills. I was so high. I really abused it. Started selling perks. I turned around and started to use it. Took my name off rehab. I replaced my name with duties. Had to get a pacemaker. My heart was skipping deuces. Jumping mm. over hurdles. Smirk life so exclusive. I ain't lied yet about nothing. I wish I could stop the war. So real talk. He said he ain't lied about nothing. So. All the shit that he's saying is factual. But if I'm not mistaken, then he then he say before that he doesn't do any drugs and shit like that. I so exclusive. I guess maybe he quit. I ain't lied yet about nothing. I wish I could stop the war. I really wanna live in peace. I wish I could stop the war, but it's too late for them to speak. I want the politics in my pocket. You wish you could stop the war. You just wanna live in peace. I mean, I think y'all niggas got the power to do so. Because it's a lot of niggas. I see a lot of niggas in Chicago that's... Niggas is wising up. And I tell you niggas, this this come with this come with really going through shit and starting reaching the levels in life and starting to understand life. Like, real nigga shit. Niggas do be really trying to get away from all that shit, bro. Niggas don't be wanting to be beefing and shit like that. If you really live that life, bro, after a certain time, when your brain really start developing and you start to really understand life... You don't want to have nothing to do with that shit no more, bro. It's crazy because I was talking about this shit earlier on the live chat. You feel me? Your your brain starts to mature and then it's like, yo, bro, all this shit, this shit just makes me uncomfortable every day. This shit not benefiting me no way. But when you're young, it's entertaining, it's fun. You bored, you ain't got nothing to do. Spit on the ops, y'all niggas get into a brawl, da da da. You come back, y'all smoking, y'all drinking, and y'all talk about what happened. It seems like it's entertaining, it's real shit. But after a while, nigga, you like, damn, I got all this money now. I can make everybody life better. You know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to enjoy this money with my family. I'm trying to be at peace. But then you still got friends that's in the hood. You can't take, even though you got money, you can't take everybody out the hood. You still love those friends. You still love those people in the hood. Something happened to them now. You human. You're going to get upset and you're going to fall back into those ways and shit like that. So now if you able to head the beef and shit... It'll make everything more peaceful. You feel what I'm saying? But then you always have that one dickhead. Even if a hundred niggas agreed, yo, we gonna dead the beef. We got that one dickhead. Fuck that shit. I ain't dead in shit. I lost too much behind this. Da, 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 da. And it's like, yo, bro, you just gonna lose more behind it. You might lose yourself. You might lose a family member. And it's all because of your pride at this point. Because, yo, bro, think about it. You wanna be so tough that you're not willing to squash shit, but then your family die about it. Your cousin, your brother, whoever die about it. And it's your fault. It's your fault because you ain't want that to beef.
could stop the war, but it's too late for them to speak. I want the politics in my pocket. I want to treat the rack like meek, but it's me. I do everything to show the main weak. I'm the streets. Whoever thought I'd make a million off of beats? And he smirk now. Nah, they can make millions off of me. Mm. Mm. I be praying for the street now. I be praying for the street and tell PD that I miss him. Can somebody get my number to him? Plus, he lost his son. That's my little cousin. He got trauma to him. Crib mm. hot, window up, blackout, thunderstorm. Ronald Mama know I love him, even though I ain't even talking to him. Play with mm. me, get back door. He rather let the office do it. Don't get shot on my block. Cause St. Bernard ain't got no trauma unit. He was filled with Zans and Lean. Now he filled with Obama fluid. The killers mm. gotta step in for the peace. Can no rappers do it? I can't. Shout out. Bro, he be talking, bro. He be talking, bro. And you know what I love about this nigga, bro? Even though he got all them ops and it, like he might send a little subliminal, but he never just be doing what the New York niggas do, just throwing out names and, oh, this nigga got caught store and doing all that corny shit. He'll have all his real shit he's saying, and then he might throw a little line in there, kind of like what Pop Smoke used to do. You know what I'm saying? That's what make these niggas be at the level they are. You niggas keep saying, smoking on this nigga, smoking on... I don't even want to say nobody's name and shit because it's disrespect, you feel me? Like, I'm smoking on Ronald McDonald. I'm smoking on Burger King. Like, bro, you're fucking whack. You keep saying that same dumbass shit every track. That shit trash, you feel me? Like, but the way he puts what he got to say in the track and then he got all this real shit in it, bro, it's a vibe, you feel me? There's some shit I could bump. While I'm in my zone on a highway, I could bump this shit while I'm in the V. You feel me? And I, because guess what? I could relate to some of the shit he's saying. I've been to jail. I know a lot of niggas that was my friends that never came to visit. My right hand man was the only one. Shout out my boy Max. You feel me? Was one of the only niggas came to see me. Word. My mom and shit. So these type of things you could relate to, nigga. You see him bumping this shit. Nigga, I can't relate to a nigga smoking on that nigga, that nigga. I don't even know them niggas. Did y'all niggas smoking on every track? I don't know them niggas. To who locked up, who was locked in. What them bloggers at that said, Smirky, you're not top team. I beat my case in 2014. They let the cops in. You can't find no peace today. Go walk inside of my G. <laughs> now you got real street niggas that want motherfuckers in jail. So we on tour with the ops, which is the police. With the police, which is the, it's like, come on, bro. Like the streets mm -hmm. over with. Niggas gotta understand that shit, man. It's yo, that's some real shit. You got real street niggas that want niggas in jail. Like, yo, some niggas can't manage you. Some niggas know you tough as nails, bro. They can't manage you. They rather you be locked up. Cause when you locked up, they get to be doing what they doing freely and shit. You pressure for them niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it got real street niggas that want to see niggas locked up, bro. Nothing left out here, bro. Like, you just got to protect yourself, protect your family, yo, who you love. You can't be around all this shit. This shit ain't the same no more. You got rats doing interviews. You got everybody sticking together who doing the wrong shit, bro. We real stand-up niggas. You got everybody sticking together that's doing the wrong shit. Yo, that's some real ass shit, bro. Y'all niggas see, nigga, paperwork come out of niggas snitching. Guess what? They means of them still. Yo, fuck that shit. That's my dog. Ain't nobody standing on shit no more, nigga. These niggas is rat. Yo, he a rat. I don't care how long you know him, nigga. He a rat. How much longer till he rat on you too, nigga? Get the fuck out of here, bro. This shit crazy. Would you share a needle with a nigga that has AIDS? No. So why the fuck do you want to be in the same circle with a nigga that's telling? Yeah, you're not supposed to share needles with anybody. I know, yeah, somebody's going to try to be literal and rebuttal what I'm saying, but it's just an analogy. I'm trying to show you, like, certain things you just wouldn't do it. So why the fuck is you chilling with a rat? Like, nigga, I know niggas that's tough, and they told. And when they paperwork came out and I found out they told, I haven't spoken to them to this day. They tough as fuck. Gangster. Niggas respect they shit. I just don't associate with that. It's not my character. Like, when was it ever cool to back dose somebody you love? When it was ever cool to set somebody up who you love? Like, this, this, this the new streets. Like, I don't want to be a part of that shit. I want to be a part of the, of the generational wealth part. Where there's mm -hmm. still leadership around. Where it's still organized. Like, Facts. that's why I don't never respond to shit. I never get on an interview and talk about nothing. Whoever say something about me, go ahead. 
I never responded to no nigga in years. But guess what? I never been bitch, I never been slapped, I never been robbed, none of that shit. So have fun. But all real niggas fuck with me. And they know what's up with me. That's what's up. I be praying for the street Nah, real nigga shit. Yo, this nigga, I know funny shit, Dirk kind of reminds me of my, my, my bro, my bro Nova, man. Free Nova, you feel me? They, they got that big ass shit too. Like, this nigga got that, <laughs> they got that big ass shit. No funny shit. Niggas done been through a lot of shit, seen a lot of shit, you feel what I'm saying? I ain't gonna front, bro. Real nigga shit, like this, this song right here really just, you just got me in a zone, like the, you know what I'm saying? It's it's so much realness to it. The vibe, everything is just so official. You feel me? The outro he got, what he talking about is real shit. And these are things that I've been preaching on my channel for years. Been trying to tell these drill rappers for years. But you know, everybody's so invested in the image that niggas forget that there's real life shit going on. Niggas want to look this way. Ah, right, yeah, it's cool to look like that. But nigga, you gotta focus on what you supposed to be like. You worry about looking like something, nigga. What you supposed to be like, bro? Be yo. I go front, man. This track right here, I get a shit a nine. This is fire. This is heat. I get this a nine. It's fire. One of the best tracks I reacted to all year. I like this shit. I definitely gonna bump this shit again. I'm bumping this again. Facts. This about to be one of my tracks that I bump on a regular. I love this shit. That us. I give it a nine point five. I changed my mind. I give it a nine point five. Nah, I gave it a 9.8. Fuck out of here. Give it a 9.8. I changed my mind thinking about it. Like, this shit is just so real, nigga. I give that shit a 9.8, nigga. It shit almost a 10. I'm funny shit. That's how real it is. Word.